Hey guys, what's going on? It's Whimsy here, and today I have for you another Warframe video. Now, in this video, we are going to be looking at the Incarnon Bronco Prime. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this weapon is probably one of the worst Incarnon weapons that we actually have access to. But I'm going to show you the best build I have made anyway. I hope you do all enjoy the video, and let's get into the build. So as you all know, this is the Bronco Prime, and I wish the Incarnon form was better. This Incarnon form kind of lets it down. So yeah, this is not the best Incarnon choice by far, but I thought I'd still make a video on it. And here is the build. So we have Galvanized Diffusion for plus multi-shot. Galvanized Crosshairs for on headshot plus critical chance. Primed Target Cracker for crit damage. Sharpened Bullets for on kill plus crit damage while aiming. Karna Stinger for plus slash plus status. Creeping Bullseye for that massive crit chance and less fire rate. Only by a tiny bit. Then we have Dizzying Rounds. Shots from less than 8 meters away. Stun enemies and open them up to finishes. Plus 200% status. So this is actually a very good mod. And if you are looking to actually stun enemies and finish them with your melee weapon, then this is actually a good setup for it. And then we have the classic hemorrhage. Impact status effects have 35% chance to apply a slash effect. Times 2 when fire rate is below 2.5. Our fire rate is 3.33. So unfortunately we're not going to get the double effect. But we are also running... Secondary Merciless as the Arcane, on kill, plus 30% damage for 4 seconds, stacks up to 12 times, and the reload speed actually helps out. Over on the left hand side we have crit chance at 78%, crit multiplier at 4 times, status per projectile 46.3%, with doing mainly slash for 1281 damage. With that out of the way, let's head on to Cavalero. Alright, so we are at Cavalero, and he actually evolves your Incarnon weapons. So, this is the biggest downside to this weapon. I actually had to put 5 former on this weapon. Please, 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 if you want a meme build, then absolutely build away. But, please, just don't get this Incarnon. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth the time I put into it. And yeah. For the first evolution, as always... Play a solo mission with the weapon equipped, and you will unlock the Incarnon form. Evolution 2, get 100 kills with the Incarnon form, and you will have a choice between these two choices. You have Speeding Bullet, which I chose, Increased Damage by 30, with Sprint Speed 1.2 or higher, plus Projectile Speed. Then you could also go with Infused Shots, Increased Damage by 16, on 50 energy spent, Increased Damage by 9 for 10 seconds. And it stacks up to four times. Moving on to Evolution 3, you have three choices. You have Kinetic Battle, negative 50% weapon recoil. Practiced Grip, increase accuracy by 30%. And Extended Volley, increase magazine capacity by two. I chose Extended Volley, and I normally don't choose Extended Volley because I think it's a waste. But this magazine, oh my god you only get six shots and then you have a fucking reload of two seconds so increased magazine capacity actually helps this weapon out then finally on to evolution four you have three choices again you have enough for everyone plus 80 percent ammo efficiency when six enemies are within six meters this could be all right but then again if you have the extra two shots then it doesn't really make a difference in for what I've seen. I chose Commodore's Fortune, increase critical chance by 20%. But you can also choose Rain of Lead, which gives you plus two multi-shot. You can choose either one of these. I went with Commodore's Fortune for that increased crit, so this weapon can actually deal some damage. All right, with that out of the way, let's go into the Simulacrum. Alrighty, we are in the Simulacrum, and I'm going to be using Haru for the first test. Now, I'm only showing one build because this Incarnate weapon isn't the best, so I thought I might as well look drippy as hell. So yeah, this is the build, and I'm not going to lie, it's not good. Uh, it's good, don't get me wrong, but the weapon's performance against level 195 enemies just isn't up there. 
But yeah, I'm going to show you this build in action against level 195 Corrupted Bombard Eximus. There's no point in me putting this on. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't. I can't. So yeah, this weapon has six shots. And if you hit a headshot, it actually gets your Mikan on bar. The slash, it's not good. I'm not going to take the piss out of this weapon. It's just not good. The Karnon, it actually targets other enemies, which is pretty good. But as I said, it doesn't deal a lot of damage. Once that slash builds up, it might do a little bit of damage. But yeah, you need to rely on that slash. And Hemorrhage does a pretty decent job. With Mirage, this weapon actually becomes somewhat viable. But yeah, the standard form just isn't it. And there's where the crit chance comes in from Commodore's Fortune. Knock that guy off, okay, whatever helps me out. Oh my god, this is just tough. Like, it's got some good, you know, features. It targets other enemies in the Incarnate form, which is pretty nice. It has a radius that targets enemies. Uh, but yeah, it just... It's not good. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, the slash carries it a little bit, but if you don't hit them with at least four shots, it just doesn't deal enough damage. I mean, who knows? But, I don't know. Let me know down below if you think this is an actual good weapon. I mean, the build is good, don't get me wrong. It's just the weapon. It's not going to kill as quick as I would like. Now we're going to switch to Mirage, and I'm going to actually switch to this one. And I'm going to show you this build with everything active. Now, before I do that, I'm actually going to show you my Mirage build. With every one of these videos, I want to show you the maximum amount of damage possible. So, we're actually using Smite Infusion. This is Oberon's Smite ability. I threw it onto my Mirage, and I replaced Sleight of Hand, because Sleight of Hand doesn't really fit in with this build. This augment actually allows me to hold the ability to cast and it will grant all allies within 15 meters an additional 100% radiation damage for 40 seconds. So we're going to be stacking base slash with radiation. Hopefully it works out all right. And yeah, I'm going to use all of her abilities. So we're going to tap the first, hold down the second for that radiation, tap the third, stay in the light. And now it actually becomes all right. Now, honestly, you don't even need to run the augment for this weapon because the slash will take care of the rest because of those clones. We're pretty much hitting all the enemies with around 32 projectiles. But this is the Incarnon form with the radiation boost. And as you can see, it's actually dealing some damage now that we have all of Mirage's abilities active. And yeah, there's some red crits in there as well. Now, I'm actually going to show you this again, and I'm not going to use my second ability, just so you can actually see the slash in action. And yeah. Obviously, you can run whatever you like. If you want to run radiation like I do, go ahead. If not, you can always just use base slash. And there we go. Mirage does make this weapon useful, but I'm not going to say that it is a must pick up. Definitely is not a must have, but if you want to troll, have some fun, then it is a good alternative. But yeah guys, thank you all so much for watching. That has been the video. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know down below your thoughts on this weapon. It's not too bad, but it is not my favorite weapon. There are many other weapons that are better than this. Now, before I actually let you guys go, I do have an official Instagram. It is at swimsy.yt. And I also stream on Twitch from time to time. So yeah, if you would like to, please follow me over there. But only follow if you enjoy the content. And that being said, it's been Swim, guys. Later. Fearless.